Let's see if I can create an entire admin panel for a brand new Laravel project in under five minutes using Filament. Okay, five minutes on the clock, let's go. We'll start with a fresh Laravel project and let's call it admin panel. Next, install Laravel sale. We only want to install MySQL for the database. Now start Laravel sale and we should be able to visit localhost and see the default Laravel welcome page. Okay, it's time to install Filament. Once this is done, you can visit localhost admin to be greeted with a new shiny looking login page. In order to log in, however, we need to create a new Filament user. First, let's run our migrations to get all the authentication tables ready to go. Now run this command to create a new Filament user and then provide the username and credentials. Once the user is created, you can go back and use those credentials in the login page. And here is your new admin panel. Now that was easy, wasn't it? But since we have some time to spare, why don't we make a new page to edit our users? Use this artisan command to create a filament resource for the user model class. When a resource is created, a new menu item will appear. Isn't that great? But it looks empty, so let's go into the resource code and make some changes. Open app, filament, resources, userresource.php and find the table function. This is used to return the structure of our table, define table actions, and much more. Let's add a couple of columns to our table. Let's import the text column class and then add one text column for the username using the make method. Add another text column for the email. Now we have a table with two columns and we have the ability to create and edit users out of the box. We also have pagination, but in order to see it, I'll use Tinker to create a few more users. Okay, that's much better. How much time do we have? Okay, we still have time to work on the form to create and edit users. Let's go back to the resource and find the form method. This time, we need a couple of text inputs to edit the user information. So let's import the text input class and then add a text input for the name and make it required. Add another input for the email, make it required and add an email validator. Okay, now we have inputs, but I don't like the layout. I like to put my forms inside a card and have the labels and inputs on their own lines. To achieve this look, go back to the resource and import the card form component class. Then for the form schema, let's first make a card component and define the schema for it with the same text inputs. Okay, that looks much better. I think we have time for a couple more things. First, let's change the icon for the navigation link. I can do this directly in the resource by changing the value of the navigation icon property. You can use any hero icon name. In this case, I'll use the users icon. And finally, let's enable dark mode. Just publish the filament configuration using this artisan command. Now open config filament.php. Find the dark mode configuration and set it to true. And there you have it, a complete admin panel in under five minutes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.